In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to run the Nickel 3-3 Cub defense. Nickel 3-3 Cub is 100% back and uh, with a really nice little five-man pressure that's going to be able to just kind of give the threat of pressure. Any defense that you run needs to have the threat of pressure because pressure is the centerpiece or the foundation of which defenses are built upon. So it's the cornerstone of every good defense is um, is the ability to get some pressure. So we're going to show you how to utilize 3-3 Cub. 3-3 Cub has been pretty much the best defense in Madden for the majority of the last four years, and it is certainly back. So coach adjustments real quick. The really cool part about 3-3-5 or 3-3 Cub, and we're in the multiple defensive playbook. You want to get my full ebook on 3-3 Cub. We actually just dropped it. It's my latest defensive ebook over on my new website, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Uh, we moved over there from Patreon, just a little bit better of a user experience for you guys. It's going to be where all of our Madden and college football content are uh, housed on. The cool part about the membership over on that site is for just ten dollars you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive books for both madden and for college football content it's all through one platform so if you want to sign up for that the link is going to be down in the description and it'll give you the entire defensive ebook including all the adjustments and how you can really not just run the blitz but take it to the next level so Coaching adjustments for the defense. Auto flip is going to be off. Auto alignment is going to be on default. Option defense is going to be on conservative. What I like to do when I run 3-3 three, three cub is I love to turn match on and be able to utilize kind of some matching roll coverage concepts. Another really cool feature of 3-3 three, three cub is you can utilize um, this package here. It is the FS1 inside, and we're going to be basing our defense out of Tampa 2. So what you're going to be able to do here with this defense is you're going to be able, by using the FS1 inside package, you have a really good ability to be able to create what I call roll coverages in Madden, which essentially what that is, is we're just going to play cover three on one side and cover three cloud on the other side. So on the left side here, we are going to put an outside third. On the safety on the left, we're going to put him in a middle third. And the safety on the right, we're going to put him in an outside third to the right. So this is going to do a really good job for stopping double corners and things of that nature. Now, the other cool part about the defense is we are going to shift our defensive line to the running back side. We're going to crash our defensive line outside, and we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. And what I like to do is kind of stand in this gap right here. The reason I like to stand in this gap is it's a little bit easier to kind of shoot the run. And essentially what we're going to do is at the snap of the ball, we're going to kind of run at the center and then run into coverage. So you see here, kind of run at the center, run into coverage. And as you see, we get this overload concept on the weak side of the formation. Now, what makes this really, really, really effective is the fact that you're able to not only have a good five-man blitz against a five out, but you also have good coverage in behind that blitz. And you see that the blitz does come in pretty quickly off of that edge. Now, full disclosure about this defense, one of the things that you do need to be aware of is the best way to block this blitz. So the best way to block this blitz this year and really every year that this blitz is popular is they're just going to block the tight end. By blocking the tight end, oftentimes you can still get this edge or disengage on the left-hand side. So now in these days of Madden and kind of, you know, different pickups from what it was previously, what a lot of people do is they will just basically block their running back. So by blocking their running back, he'll get that kind of extra guy. But as you see, you get these disengages that are kind of unique. Um, this is what makes the defense super, super good. Now, the other thing, and this is what has made Nickel 3-3 Cub always a very viable defense at any level, is its ability to stop the run. As you see right here, it's a simple gap shoot right up the A-gap, and you're going to be able to blow that up. I just got to make the tackle. But essentially, what you're doing is by shifting your D-line toward the running back, you're allowing your user, and I would put my user on a zone, but you're allowing your user to kind of loop in and basically blow up every single run. Now, even if they do get through, the cool, the other cool advantage to nickel 3-3 Cub is that your safeties are going to be in a good position uh, to be able to, you know, to be able to, to basically cause problems in the run game as well. So there's a lot of ways to, to stop the run. This inside zone in particular is actually pretty decent um, against 3-3 Cub just because of that backside tight end. But in general, if you ever do struggle with the run, there's uh, one little tip I have for you. So if you're ever struggling with the run, what you can do is shift the D-line the opposite direction. So like right here, we're going to shift to the right, and you're going to see now I'm able to blow up that run for a negative five-yard loss as long as I make the tackle. Okay? So 
that is how the blitz works. Now I want to get into uh, the cool part about this defense, which is the coverages uh, that you can create. So because we're in Tampa 2, we have the ability to roll both sides. So how would we roll uh, the left side here? Again, if we wanted to play a coverage defense, instead of crashing our D-line out, we're going to crash our defensive line inside. We're going to blitz our user, um, and then we're going to still stand in the same spot. So the reason this is uh, effective is now we're able to create a row coverage. So what we're going to do is on that left side, we're going to put that defensive end on the left in a hard flat or a curl flat. We're going to put an outside third, a middle third, and an outside third. And then what I love about 3-3 three, three Cub that you can do is you can take this linebacker and man him up on the tight end. Uh, another thing you could do is you can man this linebacker or put this linebacker in the vertical hook, and you can man this uh, this corner up on the slot receiver. These are really, really good methods to be able to play really, really sound, fundamentally sound coverage defenses, and the sheds in 3-3 Cub are pretty, pretty effective. Again, if you want to, if you guys want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, I will leave a link to that down in the description. You can get that by joining the school.com page. Another thing is if they do want to block, you can always send that slot corner. So you'll see here we can just overload that line, send that slot corner off the edge, and a lot of times it'll cause that disengage to still come up the A-gap. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get the full ebook, the link is going to be down in the description. Just want to remind you that that also gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football. As long as your membership is active, it's only $10 to sign up. If you want to sign up down at the link in the description below, would really encourage you to do that. I think it'll make you a much, much better college football and Madden player.